Hi everyone. So, people have asked me about my uh, fast finger picking, so I thought this week I'd uh, break it down for you and give you some examples so you can try it out yourself. Um, I've also created some tabs as well, so I'll stick a download link in the uh, video description for you as well. So, um, let's get started. So the, the um, technique itself is based on the classical guitar tremolo technique, um, which is, is just a simple four note pattern where you play thumb, third, second, first, thumb, third, second, first, over and over and over again. It's just, just a repeated pattern. Um, there are some differences because uh, we're playing an electric guitar, not a classical guitar, and they're very different instruments. Um, the, the main issues are, for the classical guitar is volume. It's such a quiet instrument, you have to really hit the strings in order to, uh, you know, to play in a concert hall. Whereas with an electric guitar, uh, you've got all the volume you need. Um, but the issue is damping, string damping. Getting rid of that. So, um, one of the big differences is in the hand position. With the classical guitar, you tend to have your heel high, uh, which gives you nice long fingers to hit the strings hard and give you a good tone. With the electric guitar, you need to get your heel down, which allows you to use it to, to dampen the string. So when I'm playing, I'm damping with my heel of my hand, and I'm dampening with my thumb as well if I need to. So those are, that's why my heel's down, and if you look at other um, electric guitarists who we use with the fingers as well, you'll see their heel is quite low as well. Okay, so the first thing I thought we'd do is uh, just a straight tremolo on one string. Um, so the exercise is just that. Um, what I'm doing is I'm just playing the top E string, then the B, G, D, A, E strings, just playing a tremolo. Um, you'll find that the E string is the easiest when you start getting to the inner strings you, you'll find more of a problem and that's going to be around accuracy because you will catch some of the other strings as well or you risk catching some of the other strings. So um, uh, let me show you how I get on with this. So that was just a straight tremolo. I, I tend not to do that because the, or not do too much of that anyway. It's quite useful for, for getting a nice regular pattern, hearing whether you're, you're, you've got a nice even pattern between the four notes that you play. Um, what it doesn't do is work on left hand and right, right hand synchronization. And that's really the, the big issue when you're playing any kind of fast picking actually. Um, so, the next exercise is really synchronizing the left and the right hand on one string. Um, and what I like to do is a, f is a three note pattern because most scales that you play, most sort of diatonic scales, are going to be three notes per string. So, you may as well work on this, this combination of three notes being played with your left hand and four notes being played with the right hand. Uh, and in this exercise I'm using the B string just to force you to use the inner strings uh, and concentrate on the accuracy of your right hand. So uh, what I'm doing is a... a three note uh, ascending pattern and then a three note descending pattern. Let's zoom in and I'll show you how I get on with this one.
Okay, so the, the next exercise is, is going to incorporate more strings. Um, there's, a, there's a tradition with fingerstyle guitar which is that the thumb tends to play the bass strings and the fingers play the, the higher strings, the treble strings. Uh, when you're doing a pattern like this, the, the uh, number one rule is that you play that pattern. You keep that thumb third, second, first, thumb third, second, first. And it doesn't matter uh, whether the thumb is playing the high notes and the fingers are playing the low notes or vice versa. It is always this thumb third, second, first. So um, the next exercise really allows you to, to explore this a little bit. You find it's a six note pattern where I'm crossing the string between the B and the E. So the first time round I'd start with my thumb. The second time round, you'll find you're starting with your second finger. Let's zoom in and I'll show you how I get on with that. Okay. Uh, the next exercise I thought I'd do is a nice long run. Um, the other thing that you need to get used to if you're doing something like this is sort of the phasing between the left hand and the right hand because the left hand tends to be doing sort of three note per string patterns and the right hand is doing these constant four note groups. Um, the, the left and the right hand may the sort of the synchronization between you know the index finger of the left hand and the thumb of the right hand changes as you move through the patterns. Uh, and so with this exercise, um, what I'm doing is a sort of a, a, a ten note group, a repeated ten note group split with sort of three note bridge passages as well. And this kind of forces you to change the phase, the, the phasing or the relationship between the the different types of notes that the left hand's playing and the right hand's playing. And so it'll move you through all the sort of the four phases of, that you can, you can hit when you're doing this kind of work. Um, uh, let me play it through to you so you can see what I mean. <laughs> Okay, so the final exercise um, it really hammers home this whole issue of um, the fact that you keep this four note pattern going no matter what. So what I'm, what I'm doing now is I'm playing a, an arpeggio, going up and down as just an E major arpeggio. So going up you'd be playing thumb, third, second, first, thumb, third, second, first. So you, you can see there my thumb is playing the lowest note and it's playing the highest note as well. And the fingers are playing uh, all the notes in between. Uh, let me show you that zoomed in. So that's it. It's, it's, it really is as simple as that in one sense. It is just simply playing this thumb, third, second, first, thumb, third, second, first pattern over and over again and then working on the synchronization between the left hand and the right hand and working on the accuracy. That's it. So hopefully that was useful for you. Give it a try. Uh, let me know how you get on and I'll see you next time.